Good evening. Hello to everyone. I want to say welcome to all. This is yours truly, Trevon Sundiata Imhotep Ferguson, on behalf of CL3 Agency and the Nation, National Health and Wellness Coalition. Uh, welcome. Um, I want to just take a few minutes to spend some time with you. Uh, super excited about this mission that we're on. We officially launched the coalition this Wednesday past via blog talk radio and uh, Renee Sullivan did an absolutely phenomenal job in kicking that off. Um, due to some technical difficulties, I wasn't able to, to share the entire message that I would have wanted to. So we're recording this video to kind of present some of what I, what I will be sharing in the near future. And, you know, I want to send a special shout out to Carolyn Hall and CL3 Agency for putting this coalition together. As you all know, we currently reside in, quote unquote, the uh, greatest nation on the planet. Yet, for some inexplicable reason, our nation is wroth with tons of health issues. We have the highest rates of obesity. We have the highest rates of cancer, diabetes high blood pressure, and to be blessed with the abundance and wealth, it's very heartrending to see that we are bogged down by this series of poor health in, in the United States. And with this coalition, our mission is to reach into the homes and the hearts of people across the, the country and Provide education because that's really what it's about. It's about providing the proper information so that people can take full control of their life. And some of you may be wondering, well, who is who is this guy? What what qualifies you to be able to talk to us about anything related to health, uh, especially since you're not a doctor? Well, a little bit about my story. Born and raised in the Caribbean, grew up fairly active. Uh, migrated to the United States in December of 1994, spent about seven years in the military, and um, got out of the military in 2002, became an um, entrepreneur, started my own company, House of Jai LLC, and in 2006, December of that year, my mom passed away, and she was suffering with multiple sclerosis. Uh, she battled obesity, high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, you name it. And shortly after she passed away, I was diagnosed with cancer and actually given about 18 months to live. And I decided that uh, that diagnosis wasn't, wasn't what I was going to accept. It wasn't what I was going to just lay down and allow to happen. And so a friend of mine introduced me to um, to some information by way of Dr. Laila Africa. Um, and lo and behold, we went on a regimen, got, a, got put on a program, and now here we are over six years later, 100% uh, cancer free, and about to take this thing head on. Uh, and, and I say information because a lot of what we do to our health is because we just really do not understand or know simply how the body works and simply how this machine is designed to function if it's given the right tools. Unfortunately, we make choices based on the commercial lifestyle that we have and these choices, as simple as they may be, affect us on many, 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 many levels. And so in kicking off the, the coalition, the topic for Wednesday night was about toxins. And simply put, toxins are just basically foreign poisonous ob objects or um, materials that enter into the body that have no basis in health. In other words, these poisonous substances don't help to sustain or maintain life in any shape, form, or fashion. As a matter of fact, they contribute to, break, to the rapid decline and breakdown of the quality of your health. And toxins can come in many forms. It can come in through liquids, through the air we breathe. Even so much as um, while I'm sitting here, I'm actually recording this uh, video on an iPad. And then you think about the fact that we sit in front of computers uh, on a daily -day basis. You know, these computers give off certain waves, the waves from our televisions. All these things contribute to pushing toxic materials into our bodies. Now, 
the beauty of it is that uh, it seems apparent to me, in my humble opinion, that the divine creator understood our destructive nature and created the human body to continue to fight. So understand that it takes a really, really huge amount of toxic material to be pressed into a system in order for this body to stop working. Understand that your body will continue to try to fight and try to seek life. And as long as you understand what life-giving materials you need to put into your system, then you have a chance of not only improving the quality of your life, but also you have a very good chance of eliminating some of the issues that you're, you may or may not be facing. And so uh, with that being said, you know, I talked about my, my situation with, uh, with battling cancer and, and, and getting educated. And in that educational pro process, I became certified in holistic healing, certified in iridology, cer certified in raw food preparation, chemical testing, saliva and urine, things of that nature. And what I came to understand is that in order to bring our body into a state of wellness, it's not a major, major task. We've been educated to think that being, being healthy and uh, to detox is, is super expensive and super costly. But if we understand that a simple thing is adding water to our daily regimen can start the process of detoxing and removing some of the uh, toxic materials. As a matter of fact, we know more over 80% of the, the, the U.S. Uh, people here basically walking around dehydrated and constipated and just adding a couple cups of water to our regimen daily will actually help improve our circulatory system, help the body be able to flush some of this toxic material out of our system and it would promote uh, things like weight loss, regulation of the blood pressure, regulation of blood sugars, help our, our kidneys and our liver be able to, to do what they're supposed to do in terms of removing some of these toxic waste materials that we've embedded into our system. Um, the other thing that's very simple that we can do that can actually start the detoxing process is deep breathing. We run around at a pace of 100 miles per hour and something as simple as taking deep breaths can actually help the body remove toxic materials from the system. Now, as I'm sitting here talking to you guys, um, I'm what some people would probably say a little bit under the weather. I have maybe a slight cold. And I can tell you for a fact that, you know, the last couple of nights, um, hadn't gotten much sleep, um, just been running around, you know, been putting out a lot of energy, but not taking in uh, enough to, to, to maintain and sustain the system. And I'm not your average wellness coach or holistic consultant. Um, I want people to understand that this is as much of a real struggle for us health practitioners as it is for you guys. And so understand that, you know, right now, as I would say, you know, I have a quote unquote little cold. Understand that that's basically the body's way of trying to get rid of some of the toxic material that have built up in my system over the last couple of days. Um, you may hear I sound a little congested, and earlier I had a runny nose. And I know the first thought that people have is, okay, as soon as they get a runny nose, is they run to the pharmacy and they buy, um, you know, medicine, so to speak, to suppress the runny nose or maybe a cough suppressant. Well, like I said, the creator understands that, you know, we're so destructive that these fail states were put in place. So when you're coughing, actually that's your body, one of your natural ways of removing toxic materials from your system. So when you go by a cough suppression, all you're basically doing is stopping a natural function and, and causing the toxic materials to stay infested in your system. Runny nose, that mucus that's coming out of your nose is actually taking waste materials out with it. So if you stop it, then the only choice your body has is to part that toxic materials in your cells, in your organs, and things of that nature. Um, things like, you know, getting a headache, you know, we go by um, Tylenol and things of that nature uh, to suppress the headache, but uh, your headache is, is telling you that something is going on that you need to be aware of. Oftentimes, headaches can be related to stress, uh, high blood pressure. It can also be related to the fact that uh, you actually have toxic materials moving around in your body, and that's a sign that you may need to do some type of cleanse. And you can start a simple cleanse by doing um, 
increasing your water intake. Something as far as getting raw, unfiltered, unrefined uh, sea salt, and maybe doing a uh, salt water flush. And, and of course, as the coalition grows, we'll be us wellness practitioners will be providing different tools, uh, different herbal supplements that you can utilize to um, cleanse the body and remove some of these toxic materials. Be aware that things as simple as the detergent that you use, um, down to the lotions that you use, anything that touches your skin, the skin is an inlet and outlet valve. So even though through the skin you can remove and release toxic materials, you can also take in toxic materials through the skin. Uh, and I love the um, example that Rene used where if you were to take a piece of garlic and hold it in the palm of your hand, uh, you hold it long enough, you can actually taste that in your in your mouth. And that just goes to show you how things enter into the bloodstream very quickly. Um, again, one, one for transparency, things like tattooing, inks, all these things enter into our bloodstream. And yes, I got tattoos when I was younger, didn't know any better. So hey, uh, don't worry about it. I uh, Again, it's all based on education or lack thereof. Um, as I begin to wrap this up, um, what I would, would like to caution everybody is to do your due diligence. Research, even, even some of the information that I have shared tonight, as simple as it may be, go look, go find this information. You see, the reason why we're in such a poor state of health is that many of us, or most of us, have turned our lives over to quote-unquote um, experts, but who would be the expert of your body more than you? That's your body. That's the place where your spirit, your soul resides. So who else would know that place better than you? And we have to be, um, be in a place where we get back to learning how to listen to our body, okay? Um, one of the things I'm super excited about is, is really to be teaching on this platform how people can detox and cleanse uh, simply by changing certain things in their diet. So, um, how they can detox and cleanse simply by doing one one to three day fast, nothing too exorbitant. Um, and then if your system requires it, you know, we do have certain herbal supplements. Also super excited about um, getting this out on the market. The book is called Sun Power. And in there we're going to have, you know, some herbal remedies, healthy uh, recipes, wellness tips, things of that nature. And so in closing, again, I want to say thank you to CO3 Agency for putting together this nationwide health and wellness coalition. Awesome job, Rene, uh, on Wednesday kicking off the, the coalition. Um, and I look forward to making my contribution, but also learning. And to those of you out here um, that, that, that will be receiving this information, when you, when, you, when you become educated and you share this information with your family members and you see the, uh, the improvements and you see the results, um, please, please share these stories. Please um, let us know how things are working. And also, if you try one thing and it doesn't work, um, just understand there is such a thing as bio-individuality, each human uh, life form has a specific marker uh, in their genetic construct and so one method may not work uh, but that's the thing about what I said as far as education there's tons of different routes that you can take a lot of it simple a lot of it very very inexpensive to bring yourself back into a state of total wellness and so with that I would like to close by saying um, be blessed Remember, in you there lies an inner light, and in you is a message that only you can deliver. So with that, there is power in your purpose. Have a great one.